2022 has been a post pandemic roller coaster ride for Dallas Fort Worth restaurants with exciting openings followed by disappointing closures all year long. But there's been especially good news on our restaurant scene in just the past week here. So here to talk about that and some major openings is Stephanie Almond Mary, managing editor of Culture Map. Good morning to you. Good morning, Cleo. All right, so you're talking about some huge um, openings that are happening right now. What's so special about this week? Right. Well, fall is typically a big time for restaurant openings, but this week has been especially active with five major openings kind of all at once. Everybody's trying to get open before the holidays, but interestingly, we're also finally getting past some of the delays we've had the past year in terms of construction, right. permitting, supply chain. But what really makes this week special, unprecedented, as we've said in Culture Map, is the high profile nature of the opening. Some really big restaurants with big names behind them. Mm. All right, Stephanie, let's get right into it. What are some of the big places that we do need to check out? Well, the hottest new opening is a pizzeria called Pizzana. Ooh. It's from the founders of, if you can believe it, Sprinkles Cupcakes. Uh, it's their first pizzeria location outside of California. They're, uh, they just opened on Knox Street in Dallas. They are doing authentic Italian-style pizzas from Chef mm. Daniele Uditi, who appeared on a Hulu series called Best in Dough. But they're also doing a collaboration with Dallas's Pecan Lodge Bar. Barbecue. They're doing a pizza with brisket on it. So, you know, maybe two of the best foods on the planet. I love a good pizza, Stephanie. Okay, any other fun cuisines on the table for us to try as well? Yes, there's so much variety. I'll mention three very quickly. There's an elegant new Mexican restaurant, not Tex-Mex, Mexican, called El Carlos Elegante, opening in the Dallas Design District. Nice. It's just down the street from its buzzy sibling restaurant, uh, the Charles. And then there's also a fancy prime rib restaurant opening downtown from beloved Dallas chef Nick Batavinas. It's called Brass Ram, and it's in the former Magnolia oil building on Commerce Street. And then from prime rib to vegan, there's an exciting new vegan restaurant opening in Richardson called TLC, which stands for Tastes Like Chicken. It's from a, a, a vegan chef, acclaimed vegan chef, Troy Gardner, um, who opened it as a ghost kitchen during the pandemic in 2020. It's really been the talk of the vegan world in Dallas. Man, those ghost kitchens really exploded during the pandemic. Um, Stephanie, last thing here, I guess any little bars that you can visit during the Thanksgiving holiday? Yeah, absolutely. An exciting new one for fans of British pubs. The Londoner has is finally opening this weekend. It's new location in Mockingbird Station, the old Trinity Hall space. Lots of British cuisine, craft beer, and early morning broadcasts of World Cup soccer and other sports. So check that out. Oh, Stephanie, a lot of places to check out. Thank you so much for joining us here on Daybreak. Yep, check out more on Culture Map. Perfect.